My name is Benjamin Rossloff, and I am a filmmaker, editor, and storyteller, and I am living with autism. There are different types of prayers. Prayers that praise God, prayers that thank God, prayers that ask for forgiveness, and prayers that ask God for something. There are prayers that are memorized that we recite or sing to familiar melodies. Asking questions is how we learn about people's hopes and dreams and what kind of world they want to live in. Hello, this is Barry Shore. He's an ambassador of joy, a former quadriplegic, and a successful serial entrepreneur. And I want to thank you for letting me interview you today. Now, how can I make the categorical statement that everybody watching is good looking? Because by definition, if you tuned into this particular show that Ben has made possible, you're always looking for and finding the good. Do you pray? Yes, regularly. Do you recite prayers that you have learned or memorized, or do you have personal prayers? There are certain things that I've learned, and then we always sprinkle in the personal, because God loves the personal. Is your disability something you refer to in your prayers? Yes, often. I was in the hospital completely, totally paralyzed, and I was like that for many years. But now I understand that this is a gift that was given to me to enable me to have a closer relationship with the creator of the world, with my family, friends, and myself. How does praying make you feel? Wonderful, enlivened, exuberant, because I have chosen to be happy. Oftentimes, I don't just sit there or stand there. I sometimes move around, I sing, I dance in my own particular way. <laughs> I become alivened by the idea and by the process of prayer. Do you think people with disabilities prayers are different than prayers of non-disabled people? I've been in both situations. I was 55 years old before I became completely paralyzed for a number of years. So I have the perspective of both. And I can tell you that the prayers are not different. And yet there is a difference when you are challenged and until you get to the point where you recognize that it's a gift that's been granted to you that not everybody has until that point you will be different what do you pray for i pray for the revelation that all beings fulfill their potential and live in joy happiness, peace, and love. Judaism encourages questions. It is how we learn, how we grow, and how we gain an understanding of ourselves and our relationship to God. 